Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 8th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and world weather. Start note here, the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, we've seen a few strong C-class solar flares, and as well a plasma prominence firing away from the sun. You'll see that in the right-hand side, We'll get a closer look at that in just a moment. We're going to have a look, look at the last 48 hours incoming with a little Earth to scale. We do have six sunspot regions right now that are Earth-facing. Not much is turning in. Outgoing, we've seen a lot of action recently. CMEs firing off at Venus. And this is where we saw that rapid fire. From the plasma prominence. I'll have a closer look at it here. And it did create a coronal mass ejection, as I said, right towards Venus. Having a look at multi spectrum, the last 48 hours of events, highly active sunspot regions that are Earth facing and as well outgoing action, big coronal hole. That has increased our solar winds over 600 kilometers per second. They are up to 668 today. Got another coronal hold building, developing in the southern hemisphere. 171 angstroms here. And this is where we can see our six sunspot regions. We're able to see pretty much what our heliosphere looks like. Or, or the sun's magnetosphere. and its magnetic components. Having a look at space weather conditions currently, we hopped up to 668 kilometers per second, so we are still under a G1 geomagnetic storm impacts from the coronal hole wind stream and as well solar flares that we've seen as of late. 688, wow, that's fast. Solar X-ray flux showing just recently Moderate C-class solar flare. Saw two strong solar flares earlier throughout the day today. But yeah, some rapid fire events over the last 48 hours. Seeing about 9 to 10 flares. Geomagnetic activity at a KP4 right now. And here is that CME that I was talking about. Shooting out towards Venus and as well the Bepi satellite. We do have some space weather incoming after the coronal hole wind stream. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing our sun's cosmic energy firing away from the sun. On the right hand side, you'll see that plasma shot right there. And as well, something bright and flashy moving from left to right on the left hand side. CME from the left and then big CME from the right. Lots of plasma associated with that. Having a look at our current space weather winds, or sorry, our current solar winds, looking at our magnetosphere. This is showing our pressure planes. Now notable on the left-hand side, you see the two dark red bands. That is showing some magnetic disturbance in our atmosphere. solar winds that they were up over 688 kilometers per second as you can see that dark dark red and then just recently over the past hour or so they calmed down a little bit i think they're at about four 420 kilometers per second right now we've seen some uh quite a few space weather events over this last little while and an amazing northern lights show Wow, the auroras were stunning over the last few days, especially across Russia and as well Northern Europe. And thank you all for the new friendships. Thank you for following along with Daily Vance Worldwide. Now let's get to earthquakes here as we had a very busy day for earthquakes as well. Started out with a large 7.1 earthquake in the Banda Sea, followed by two other 6.7 magnitude earthquakes only reporting one here but multiple aftershocks through the region 
This after the earthquake warning video yesterday, as we had a very deep earthquake in Mariana's Trench, expected something big. Deepest earthquake today, 477 kilometer depth, Fiji. 5.2 there, Kermadec Islands. But this is where all the action has been. The Banda Sea. So that's Eastern Indonesia and then up into Malaysia. 7.1 magnitude, 10 kilometer depth. I'll give you a closer look at exactly where this is. Right at the convergence zone of two fault lines. Two sizable, three very sizable earthquakes today. Heads up, no tsunamis expected with these earthquakes. Around the world, we're sitting at about 277 earthquakes in the map area, according to USGS. But there are a lot more, including all of Europe and Russia. But USGS, 277. Now, notable, the earthquakes that were going on in Texas today. But also a 5.6 there in between Japan and Russia. And then look at this, a 5.2 earthquake reported in Colson Draw, Texas. Now that is where I noted where all the fracking is going on. Very interesting. A lot of earthquakes still rumbling in Iceland, waiting for an eruption there. Not much reported here through Europe or Africa since yesterday. All the activity has been here through the central west Pacific Ring of Fire. Philippines Plate yesterday saw a 5.4 earthquake at a 630 kilometer depth. And then boom, big 7.1 earthquake, Band of Sea. Let's have a quick browse at the last seven days for rumblers across the world. This is where I'm going to take a quick moment to say thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps YouTube recommend this channel everywhere to help keep humanity aware and prepared. And get prepped people because there are some big changes coming to our planet. And that's why Daily Events Worldwide is here. Lots of build up. Northern Hemisphere right now. Expecting something to pop. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready. Have your go bag ready and know what to do in case there is an earthquake. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Let's get to weather here as we've got some big systems affecting North America and as well eastern provinces of Canada. Big low moving in to the west coast and as well interesting low pressure system long range coming in through the Gulf. But high pressure ridges and cold lows are going to be the story in this long range forecast as well. Interesting system here developing through the Central Caribbean. This is in the long range forecast. Could see a big cyclone develop there. And then overlooking Europe, Africa and Russia. Daily evaporation rains through Africa. Multiple lows and wind events still hammering parts of North and Western Europe. All through the Mediterranean and as well in the long range, watch for a possible Medicaid to come through as an Atlantic hurricane may hold its low pressure center and head right through the Mediterranean. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Central Pacific, Strong systems coming out of China this week, funneling up into Japan and Russia. Big cold high pressure ridges developing on in behind that. And then watch as these systems ramp up and head northward. Possible typhoons in the long range heading towards Philippines. And as well, interesting weather heading through Japan. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific, as we have multiple lows affecting Western Canada and Pacific Northwest of the United States. This week should be interesting, very windy events around the world. And it doesn't surprise me. I mean, our solar winds were smacking us around at 668 kilometers per second. 
big system here through Japan. Heads up, stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.